Okay. Alrighty. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Shenardigans. I'm Fridge. This. And I'm Blue. It's Blue. It's kind of weird. I had to look a different way. All right. So what we're going to be doing is just kind of reviewing ah, a bunch of random stuff. Superhero things. We're very big superhero people. Are you love big? superheroes. Grew up with them my whole life. They're awesome. Yeah, I got games. Com I, I tried to do comic books and went to comic books when I was younger and then kind of faded out of it. But and as you I see, had some comics, but like, I don't know. Like, it wasn't until I got to be an adult that I actually started getting comics that I wanted. Started off with, it's weird. Like, I loved X Men, Spider Man, and all that. And I got Daredevil comics for Christmas. It's like, come on. Sir, I don't even. Whatever. I, I wouldn't. Yeah, no. I, I remember. I got like the first issue of X Men twenty ninety nine. I thought that I thought that was the coolest thing because that was like the first issue. I was like, oh, this is so cool, but it was really weird. They were very odd X Men. As I got like, uh, it was supposed to be a collector's kit with like six Daredevil comics, and it came with the the boards and bags and all that. And I never read the comics. I didn't care for Daredevil. Yeah, I. Daredevil's eh. I mean, it's it's cool. He's blind. He's got, you know, technically doesn't have superpower, but he does. Neat concept, but when you're new into superhero comic books, you're looking for stuff that's like really impressive. Like a blind lawyer, not not that great, but a dude that pulls six blades out of his hands, that's pretty cool. That's pretty nifty. Uh, we we also got a little visitor back here. He's uh. He's just kind of checking sure enough, out. You're a cosmopolitan back there. It is. This is Cosmo. Uh, he does, um, you know, from like Guardians of the Galaxy. It's Cosmo. It has telekinesis. That's how he talks to me like this. Right now he's telling me to stop talking about him. He's trying to sleep. <laughs> he's in, he's well, getting all okay. upset. Getting all interrupted. He's like, leave me alone. Jeez, Dad. So today's episode, our very first one, we're going to do a review of Marvel Rivals. And we're going to watch Not really a review so much as a speculation and a collection of everything we know right now. Yeah, I'm trying to take a guess. Uh, we've watched other ones and different things like that. We're just going to do a quick run through and look at it. Uh, he's just like freaking me out. I keep looking at him. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, it looks really interesting. I really am excited to play this. So we'll just go ahead and jump over there. I'm not a big fan of Overwatch, but oh, I think it's because that. I didn't have any kind of, um, I didn't have any connection to the characters, so, but but this this is going to be cool. Yeah. All right. So here we, if I can hit buttons, here we go. Got the ad, God. To win this one. I just... I never really was a fan of the cartoon aesthetic that they use. Is that my current word? It looks like they're doing like a, a cell shaded art as well. Like the, the graphic style is just kind of it gives me like a Borderlands feel to it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. See, but I don't like. The, now this is awesome. The, the power up, the destroying the whole statue. Yeah, the, so they, they have like this destructible in. Dynamic environment. That's what it is. And you have Spider-Man with all his typical little webbing around and doing it. I think she's going to be a, a, a support character. She well, that's they've already like listed that she is a support character. Oh, I haven't um, seen that. There's a, uh, it's it's kind. Of, so I say listed. It's more like a heavy implication. She. Like, that's going to be the one I'm going to play right there. So, because if you look at Luna's abilities and stuff, when you get to see gameplay of Luna doing her thing, like we saw earlier, uh, you can see, we'll go through her abilities and stuff later, but she's very heavily support. Sure. They, they always do that Hawk Smash thing right there. I am ready to no. Speed, there she was. I just, I was really surprised they threw Loki in there. That was just, oh, it's Galactus' daughter. Galactica. Yeah, I have a hard time. Oh, wait, we'll have to go back and look at that. I think I have a picture of that. 
So. So now I'm just going to jump us over to that uh, where we can. I just hit escape and I hope they didn't tear something up. This fun little fun little thing here. And I'm as we can see here, I'm actually going to move this one just for a second so we could see part of the roster. We have Scarlet Witch off to the right here. Right. We got the Punisher. Mantis. Star, Star Lord. Lord. Mag is that Magneto. That is yeah. that is Magneto. And that is Storm. So I'm actually kind of excited for Magneto. I think he's going to be kind of awesome. But from the other picture I've seen, go ahead. I'm eager to see their abilities. Like because we didn't get to see gameplay of any of these guys, you know? So and like what my biggest question is uh Magneto, Omega Level Mutant, right? Yeah. Scarlet Witch, also an Omega Level Mutant. Now she should be able to just go, everybody's what? dead. But yeah, like she has reality warping abilities. Like, what are we gonna, what are we gonna see from her? And it, it, they'll like, probably nerf her down to the uh, your typical, like the um, the show, or you know, like when she first started with the Avengers in the MCU. Well, we got to see like Loki, and Loki, he's not Omega level or anything, and then he he's a he can do the shape shifting thing where he. Kind of like Shang Tsung from Mortal Kombat. He morphs into you and gets all your abilities. Yeah, that dude was overpowered. Oh, as we talk about her, I didn't know she was the next one. That was kind of funny. There she is. I don't know who uh, who drew this. Uh, credit to whoever drew that thing. RD, whoever, whoever that signature is. RD21. All righty. So, yeah, I didn't know that was the next one. And the Punisher. Um, I got a feeling he's going to be a tank. Oh, it, it, I found a uh, photo that has all of the characters that we have seen, plus the ones in that, in a um, like in a little combat thing, and it shows him sitting on a uh, like a turret. So I don't know. I don't know if he'll be a tank. I but just see, like if you look at the body style, like all the DPS guys, it, they're all very slender and they look quick. And then your tanks are huge. Like you got Penny and uh, Hulk, and you know. I'm, I believe this is going to be a fast-paced game. It's it's. It should be, which means your tanks are going to have to have some, you know, offensive capabilities. And yeah, it's, Punisher. Oh. Like, it would make more sense if they made him slint. Like that huge body type doesn't lend itself well to a DPS. I don't think. No, and, and I really should have put these things in order before we did this, but here we got the um, the roster. The known roster. Yeah, I grabbed this off somebody else. I like, was looking around trying to find something of this, and I just said I was not going to put an Altoid in my mouth, and what I do? I put an Altoid in my mouth. Flat out stuck one right in there, didn't you? Yep. Um. So, yeah, this is the nice roster. I'm... But the way they're stating this, the people have it are Magneto and Punisher is in there, but not. Uh, I saying her name wrong earlier. Parker girl. Penny. Penny Parker, and Namor. Oh, it's always funny watching videos and people calling that Aquaman. <laughs> All right, so but let. We'll get into the roster here after a yeah. while as we go through each one individually. So first, okay, so what we'll do is tell us tell us all about like you know um, what's going on here with with this game. Like, give me the overview of it, right? Right. Yeah. Um, so yes, if you want to go ahead and start this, start the overview because my notes have closed. Okay, so essentially we've got we have two types of heroes, um, just like at its basic function. Two types of heroes: you have a ranged hero and a melee hero. Every one of these characters is going to fall in either one of those two categories. No matter whether it's tank, support, DPS, doesn't matter. It's going to be either melee or ranged. And then <coughs> it looks like. They've probably got uh, five or six different uh, abilities per 
or here you got a you got your primary ability, which on PC would be your left click. You got your secondary ability, which on PC would be your right click. And then you've got like three other abilities, maybe four, which would be other buttons on the keyboard. The only gameplay that we actually got to see was PC gameplay. So Okay, well there is a thing to that. I'm gonna step back one second. It's a Netscape game. Uh, Netscape, they're the developer of this. I've said, I said this, mentioned this before. They've made a uh, mobile game. It is with it's, it's a MOBA. It's a mobile MOBA game. Ooh, that's kind of tough to say. It's like League of Legends, but with Marvel characters. I absolutely loved it. But you can only play it if you're overseas, and if you had, and you can play it here, but if you have a high ping, you you can only play AI. If you're lucky, and most times it still won't let you, but it's still really cool. So I, and they've had this going for a while. So I'm, and I always said if they would bring this to a console or a PC and make it a PC game for everywhere, it would be amazing. Same kind of the same concept, but anyways, this is pretty much that. Yes, like it's just you know, with a few tweaks here and there, you know. But um, yeah, but I, and, and I, I've seen a lot of the movement. There's a lot of the the, the flying and teleporting and warm wormhole I, that just sounds so weird uh running and leap but i say wormhole because of magic would but it's more of a portal i guess the yeah, sling like a portal thing. so that kind of falls into um like like you said you got the wormhole the teleportation the flying the leaping whatever so uh later on we're going to talk about um what each character has and um they're like we know for a fact that some of these have like movement abilities. Like Iron Man can fly, Spider Man can swing, Doctor Strange has uh, the you know the ring thing going on. It's a sling on. ring. A sling ring. That's it. Yeah. But that's not his. I'd seen his alt was a time thing. Uh, yeah. So we'll we'll yeah we can skip all that because we get the leap, which is uh, I I know there's uh, what's it called? They called it something different. It's like a a control points. What I called it. In a hill. Yeah, King of the Hill. I because I I remember playing Call of Duty and they called it um, Hard Point. Thank you. I had it as right before I said I, I I'm losing it. I imagine they're going to do an escort. I have a feeling that's going to be one of the. And they they've already announced as much. Like they said that there's going to be two different game modes. There's going to be King of the Hill and there's going to be an escort type mission. Yeah. And those are the only two game modes that we know about at the moment. Now, obviously, it's pro there's probably going to be other, like maybe a death match or whatever. That's my assumption. I'd say for the most part, you're going to be playing those to the King of the Hill or, or the Escort, whatever they call that. I can't remember what. Like the, Team Fortress 2 had that same style of game where it's like there's a thing and it's on rails and you have to follow it and, I, and kind I, of get it there. And I don't want to mention. Walk I don't want to mention the game because everybody's comparing it, but in Overwatch, it's the you have to have everybody around that uh, whatever as it trails down a certain piece. Yeah, um, you have to have somebody in like an area of effect. Yeah, yeah, you got to have somebody in that area. So, but we'll we'll we we we'll, and we'll jump back to that. Right, a couple other little quick mentions to it, as we've seen in the video, we got the destruction of different places, and I believe it also will kill somebody if they're underneath the rubble but i don't know if that was just a quick coincidence of him hitting dr strange and the bridge falling that's something i'd like to look into more we'll, we'll we will jump back into that and then what part are we talking about uh it's when loki switched into death uh okay, so yeah <clears throat> yeah well, well he destroys that bridge with bast right but I, we'll get back into that that the, he destroyed the bridge i just didn't know if it killed what's his face and then uh, the, the the team ups that's pretty cool i I just don't like that. I would something. imagine that they have like, we only got to see a few team ups in the trailer, but I would say that like when this game fully releases, you're going to be able to almost every, I would guess it would make sense to me is all, every, every character is going to be able to team up with another character in different ways. If that makes sense. Um, I guess we're kind of in that point. <clears throat> they all will be able to, but some have a better team up power. 
Yeah, like it's going to be different, varying. Like, like you could imagine, like, was it um, Hulk gave Iron Man uh, like some kind of damage boost with his gamma radiation? Right? Yeah. So, well, um, I would I... imagine like Iron Man teaming up with another DPS. They're going to scale that back. You can't just have like wicked double damage, you know. Well, if you like, if you watch this part here, yeah, he hits him with that gamma activation, and then that thing runs like a little scared. Right. I hope Friday got that yeah, because he's doing boatloads of damage right there. It was, oh yeah, it was a crap ton of damage. But I imagine that Hulk had to build that up quite a bit as he was leaving. Yeah, it has a cooldown. Yeah, yeah, as he was going through there, I would imagine he was. Uh, just one one quick thing before we get too far away from it. This is uh it's a six v six game. Oh yeah. Okay. So you're gonna have you're gonna have six players on each team. I don't know if both I don't know if it's gonna work like when somebody picks a character, like there can only be one Spider Man in the game. I don't I don't know. Yeah, I would imagine, uh, because Well, hold on. Only be one Spider Man on your side. Well, see, that's what I'm thinking. Like, are they going to do it where there's only one Spider-Man on your team or one Spider-Man in the entire lobby? I would say on your team because this is supposed to be the two dooms have come together and all the timelines are crashing together. So okay, that, that would make sense then. That's, yeah, that's, why that's why they did it this way, so that way you could have uh, Doctor Strange on this side and a Doctor Strange on that side or ha however, and they're all going to look different and be different. So, yeah, uh, that's their... That's their, you know, hey, we can. We looked at the Hulk Iron Man team up. Yes. Let's look at the uh, Luna Namor team up at 54 seconds. Oh, wow. It's right there on it. So I think, well, you said she's already going to be a support. And, and I believe she is because when you watch her skate up here, she never throws anything at the red. It's always at the white or whoever's playing the person doesn't know what the hell they're doing. Yeah. Her friendly, her friendly kid. Yeah, so see, look, bam, bam. And then hit C on that. And then he goes crazy. Well, you notice he's got ice ability now. Yeah, he turns into like, uh, well, I mean, that makes sense. She's an ice character. And he's typically a water character, you know. It's so Aquaman. You know, I'm just kidding. That would not made up perfectly. It's an Aquaman. Okay, so moving, moving forward a little bit farther, we've got the Groot Rocket team up. But he's got at, uh, turrets. He does, and we'll get into that here after a while when we go through each individual one. It's going to be a 114, I think, is when they actually team up. I kind of like what they did. Okay, as I, right before I do this, uh, what I like about this is the fact that you can play each character individually, and then they can group up together. Yeah, especially like the Rocket group team up, like, like they're they're two individual heroes, but it works perfectly canonically with the comic books and well, even reason, movies. The reason I was saying it is if you're pl if you're playing Marvel Al Ultimate Alliance three, when you play them, they're together. I think. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're always together because he's always on their back and whatnot. But that's why I like, and I like how he goes in, he sits on their back, he's like whack. And then, yep, and then there's his team up, which is probably, that's probably going to be Rocket's team up for everybody. Just ride them. He just jumps on their backs. So let's go, big boy. If I and were to guess. Groot, I, uh, there's not much on Groot, but he it looks like he has a pull ability. Yeah, I think we'll get in. We'll get into him after a while. I've got a little bit of information kind of gathered on him. But um, um, kind of moving on a little bit. So the uh, Asgardian maps, the only one we got to see in the trailer. Yep. So... I would assume that there are more maps. I mean, it would be a pretty bland game if it was just the one map over and over and over again. But that's also a possibility. That could be the case. I would imagine the alpha, though, that's the alpha closed testing is going to be just that one. Well, yeah, I mean, we're not going to... We might get to see some extra maps in a beta. Maybe. If they even plan on having more maps. It might just be this one. Oh, no, they're going to... We'll, we'll get to that here in a minute. I'll, I'll, I'll give my opinions on some stuff here in a minute. All right, so moving into the, the roster stuff. Okay. Uh, first, first up, we've got Loki. 
Uh, that was the wrong screen. This was the screen I was looking for, and I hold on. There he is. I'm gonna leave this in there. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So Loki is a support character, and he has 250 health, and it like these sound like really. So as we go through these, I'm gonna give you the class ammo, HP, and their left click abilities, and then I'm gonna go through all their abilities. But the ammo counts. It's they sound low. Like, I, I'm seeing 10 ammo capacity. So he can only shoot 10 times. Yeah, it's, but he's also got a turret. Right. I'm sure it's like a reload. I'm, I'm sure there's probably like a quicker reload or something, but he has a, he's got like a turret. I don't know. I have a feeling that this is going to be one of the most overpowered characters. I'm not sure what they mean. I'm not sure what they mean by ammo. Maybe that's just magazine size. It is. It's just the. Uh, it's just like he does that zap. If you're watching, um, right at the so beginning, so he can shoot. So he can shoot like ten times before he has to reload. So as, as you watch right here, I wish I could do a, a frame by frame. I, I wish I'd have got one of those. So watch right here. See, he's right here at the top right hand corner. Yeah. Yeah. So and then he kind of starts zapping one, two, three, four. So that was doing quite a bit of damage to him yeah and that was loki's turret so let's look at let's look at that um loki yep. can make a turret that stands and attacks on its own and it's a clone of himself i thought it was okay i thought it was actually the player but i got gotcha. you well that might actually be the player at some point the only reason that we know that the turret is a clone is because he can do like this swap ability which is f on the keyboard and he can swap positions with the turret that he created. And then he can take over doing what his turret was doing. Yeah. So. Oh, no, I got you. Yeah. And then his ultimate ability is able to transform himself into other characters, which we see. We see Loki do it. He, he takes the form of Black Panther. He actually then, shows all, uh, he shows both of these. He shows the drone switch or the clone switch and then runs up and steals Black Panther's thing. Right here is this, right. bam. Oh, look. Yeah, he just, he just took the place of his the turret and then became the Black Panther. Then he's going to destroy the bridge. Okay, so, the, yeah, and this was the part that I was talking about. I don't know if the bridge falling kills Doctor Strange. Or the attack that he does kills him. Okay, so I understand what you're talking about. Like you don't you don't know if the the environment being destructed can cause damage. Correct. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, and it's hard to tell right here. I don't know if they. I see they. It, no, I don't think it did. If you see where he's laying at and where he destroyed that bridge, he, the I I think he hit him, and, and that's what caused him to die. I would say so. Because he is... Yeah, because see, he got hit. Yeah, I... But I that still he, doesn't answer the question of whether or not destructed environment causes damage. I don't think it, it would. Kill. It might cause a little damage. It's like they did a little clever thing with the Hulk and, and Namor. But, all right, so... Uh, I can also... I added a few little things when we... Go here. So, alrighty. So that was old fun loke, which I think it'll be everybody's. Oh, I want to go play. Loki's oh. Loki's likely going to be fun. I I tend to trend toward support characters. When I, I didn't play know these he was a healing character. Sounds good. Alrighty, alrighty. So, uh, yeah, I didn't know he was a, a healing. I got, had a weird technical issue, so we're back. The um, I didn't know he was a support character. Kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it seems like he would be a DPS character when you, when you think about it. But then, he's not. So, I don't know. All right. So next we got Doctor Strange. That was a okay, weird. That was so a weird way of saying that. Doctor Strange is a tank. See that. And... <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> He has, his his uh, health is 600 with an 800 health shield that he uses alongside him. 
but it, it uh, I don't see Doctor Strange being a tank. That's silly because he's a small. I would he would be the one I would think would be a support class. Yeah, I would think so too. Like that makes the most sense to me in my head. But yeah, I, I would, not. and it doesn't. I don't know. That makes I it and. My we little... also haven't played the game yet. So maybe when we get to playing, he's like, okay, I get it. I understand. Well, he makes why. a big... I, I mean, I kind of somewhat understand. He takes his magic and he makes a big shield out of it, like what they all do during Multiverse of Madness, how they shield right. the whole place from what's-her-name. I mean, I get that. So, and then the portal jumping around, but his alt is freezing everybody, which is kind of awesome. So his health, 600, 800, and his ammo capacity, six. Uh, his left click ability <coughs> is like a channel burst fire. And his right click ability, that's that's what brings the shield up, is the is the right click. And then his traversal is that is the portal. He's able to I don't know what kind of cooldown that's gonna have. Uh, and then like you said, his ultimate is the eye of Agamotto. And it, it looked to me like it was like an area effect stun. Like every everybody in that place or within range is going to stunned. Uh, I, I think they're froze. Um, I'll, what, I know I put a time down on that. Did, did you happen to see that? I think it's toward the um, end. Let me... Uh, I think it was right here at the end. I jumped off my... Yep, there. Here it is. Doctor Strange. And yeah, this is um, the uh, Eye of Agamotto. Correct. Keep clicking off of it. I, I'm getting really confused on where every, all my screens at. So, oh wait a minute, that is not. Yeah, so right here they look like they're froze, and, it, it, and it's so quick. By the eye of Agamotto. Yeah, they look. Fr oh, he knocks their. Looks like he knocks their little ghost Pete yeah. out. Yeah, he knocks their astral parts of them out. I like ghost piece. So they're stun locked. Ghost Reese you know? pieces. That's what they are. The like ghost Reese pieces. Damn it, Bobby! Turn down for what? <laughs> All right. So, moving on to the next hero. Sorry, I had to. I had to do it. Don't be just cutting me it's short. All those things. Uh, there's not. Mu I haven't found much on group. There wasn't much on Groot. Um, so we know he's a tank, but we don't know what his ammo is. I would imagine it's melee, so he doesn't have an ammo. I imagine he we don't pulls. Know what his health is. Um, there wasn't any like first third person gameplay um, of Groot, but from what we can tell, um, he's got like a ramp wall thing to kind of impede enemy players and allow. His players to his friendlies to advance or take cover or you know fight from a tactical position. Um, he let's see here. Oh man, I missed a good joke. He has a Q ability that seems to like it's kind of like a pull, so it yeah. pulls everybody to him. That so was... I would imagine using that in conjunction with somebody else's like big ultimate that does like an area of effect. <laughs> he can yeah. drag everybody in, and then they do the ult, and then it's like a combo wombo. Yeah, that was my guess when I was looking at the thing. I was like, "Oh yeah, he's he he's got like a grab pull here." And by the way, real quick, I missed a good joke. I, I I've got oh well uh, Ernie Wilson back here, and I was talking about ghost. I, like, I ain't afraid of no ghost. I got the Ghostbuster man back there signed picture. Sorry, that was a that was a missed joke. <sighs> missed it. Train left the station, anyway. pal. All right, now, I, we can go and show the group thing, but it's just basically he throws his hand out. I, I we'll just we'll just jump on past that, and That's we'll just jump right over to Luna Snow. Luna Snow. So she is a support. Um, she has an ammo of thirty, health of two fifty, and it looks like her left click is like so. When she's clicking on uh, friendlies, it's a heal, and when she's clicking on uh, enemies. It's a light attack. Okay, so that's what that's what I was noticing earlier. Whenever, um, whenever she was doing what what not against 
Namor. Yeah, she was healing him, which she, is the white crosshair. Yeah, she was healing Groot, it looks like. Oh, yeah. I see it. Oh, dang it. I keep hitting the wrong thing. Yep, his health went up a little bit. My goodness, he's got... Oh, yeah, he is a tank. Look at that. Compared to Namor's... He's got a lot of health. Well, look at Namor's. Uh, little white bar he's got here. I wonder if I can actually. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go. Uh, we just we lost us, but look at his his white bar. It's a lot. And then and now look at this one. There's a lot of little tick marks on that thing. Holy cow! There's a bunch of tick marks on that. All right, so, um, her shift ability is her. Um, it's called be strong together. It says, uh, I think it's likely a speed buff. Like, she's able to speed buff herself, allies around her, that sort of thing. And then her C ability is Ice Energy, where she's able to buff a single ally, probably like a damage buff, and she does that to Namor here. And then uh, her ultimate... It it looks like it's toggleable. As you watch through the trailer, you can kind of see it has two states. One state's an AOE heal, the other state's an AOE speed buff. Uh, you're talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right after the eye. I am ready to put on a show. Oh. Like anybody inside that field is likely going to get either the heal or the speed buff, depending on what way the player has it toggled. Uh, yep. Okay, so next. All right, so now we're going to go on to Black Panther. Let me find him in my this notes here. here. Right here. This, this, this fellow right here. He's missing, he's missing some ears and stuff. But um, he... Black Panther. Here we are. Yeah, Black Panther Another tank. met uh, Cosmo is what he did. He met Cosmo. He's so Black really Panther's good. another tank. He's a melee character. He has 950 health. How many tanks do we need? <laughs> Go ahead. That, so this is implying, in my opinion, this is implying that... So we. this is all the roster that we know about as we're going through them. There's going to be so many more characters. There has to be. Oh, well, I mean... But anyway. I, um, they can bring whoever they want in. It, it does not matter. So we've got uh, 950 health. His shift is like a... Wait a minute. Hold on. Nope, nope. I was wrong. He's not a tank. He's a DPS. That makes way more sense. Yeah. I was reading a different character. I was like, this. That's, no, he couldn't be... He's a DPS. His, uh, his, his attack is still melee. Or ammo, whatever. Uh, he has 300 health, which is 50 more than your average DPS. Um, he has a dash attack that looks... I'm, I'm thinking most people are going to use it to kind of like traverse the, the map, but it also does damage. Um, he has an ability called Cyclone, which uh, he kicks an enemy and then lunges forward dealing damage as he's traveling forward mm, I but we're not that. completely clear to the extent of what's going on there um and then you've got his ultimate which is like a large aoe thing called tremble before bast that's that's what you see loki do where he turns into the giant black panther and destroys the bridge oh yeah okay yeah i know which one you're and you can also see in the trailer as his as he takes damage so like somewhere around fifty percent of his health, he get like his armor starts to glow purple. Oh, they're doing that. I didn't know they were. So that's that's probably some sort of buff. I would imagine damage or speed or or whatever. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Well, this is Loki okay. though. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, no, that was Loki. <gasps> I didn't I didn't get a time for that one. Well, trust me, it's in there. If you just watch through the trailer, you'll see it. I'm going to watch back through again. I've watched it a few times. Okay, so moving on to the next one. 
What? Oh, well, the next one is just... These are the ones that we don't uh, have stats on or anything at the moment. Well, no, because we got like... Well, I need... I will find that picture before we're off here. So we're looking at right now, looks like Star Lord, Magneto, Storm, Scarlet Witch, and the Punisher is behind. Yeah, the Punisher and Mantis is down Mantis. here. Um, okay. yeah. So I can move this out while we talk about it for a second. But I did see. Uh, that I'm gonna. I'll find that little picture clip here in a second. I'll. Uh, I'll do some googling and, and see if I can grab a hold of it. But you do see Magneto standing in the back, and he's holding two or four big pieces of metal and they're like doing this big shield thing they're making a making a shield so he's going to be a tank so too. yeah he's going to be a big tank which i mean that makes sense it does um, make sense. and mantis is going to be a healer we I, you don't even have to show me anything or i can already tell you she's going to be a healer yeah support heal that's yeah. what she does i mean and then storm's definitely going to be a T dps and punisher is going to be a dps Scarlet Witch, she can be a support character, but also be one. She can be one of those support characters that can do some damage, depending on how you level her. I, that's something I don't know what they're going to do. Depending on how you uh, use her, she can do different. I think she can be dangerous. Oh, I, I know she can be dangerous. Every one of these characters can be dangerous if played correctly. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, so we'll we'll, we'll jump on past that because that's about as much as we know on them. Um, I, it's it's crazy. This is kind of a screenshot of all the characters I think that are playable. I mean, you have yeah. So these are the and ones that all the characters that were in that in that particular game that we got to see. Yeah, the, this that's that's the same one from all that. Hey, look, it's a Magneto, but, the one we don't know that, about. That last picture is probably like what like sort of like a splash screen as you're loading. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Or so, it's a good little art piece for somebody that did something because it just has the all the characters that are there now. Right. Oh, I didn't even do that. Let me hit this. And then Magneto. You know, Magneto was one of my favorite villains. I just, I've always yeah, liked Magneto. Cool. I, he was one of them, if I could have one of the powers, that's another day episode, but that would be him and um, Nightcrawler are a couple of my favorite ones I would take. Absolutely. All right, so what do we got next? Uh, this is that starting starting little cut screen. You got Loki, but you can't see because my beautiful face is over it. Oh, here. Ta-da. There you go. So, uh, let's go on through here. Iron Man. All right. Here's Blue's favorite. This is Blue's favorite. I love me some Iron Man. He's like Batman, but way cooler. Okay, well, that's why I hate him. Because you said Batman. Cooler. I don't even like you anymore. Stop. Nope. You're not, not to her. mention that stupid guy's Can't name. Stop, won't stop. Nope. Okay. Nobody likes Batman. So Iron Man, DPS. He has an ammo of 100. Uh, he has a health of 250. And I would say his normal, like, static attack or le left click, whatever, is just a repulsor blast. If I had to guess, just, you know, pow, pow, pow. Um, I'm done with you. But it also, like, he has a traversal, which looks like it's... Like you can kind of plan it like okay i'm here i'm gonna go over there so a to b kind of uh thing and it's very like deliberate straight line transportation his, his flying yeah. Lord, yeah yeah his flying looks more like a just you can go in a straight line it's not a a, a, a flying around the yeah, you can't fly him around like the avengers game you can hover when, that's another thing we'll have to call it, go over one day um so his E ability is a stance switch. So I'm guessing he can swap between like heavy weapons and light weapons. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'd say it's probably uh, like his, rockets and lasers. Go ahead. Sorry. His F ability is actually is a rocket, like a grenade that explodes on impact. <coughs> and then he also has a, we saw him use the Unabeam with the uh, team up with Hulk. What, which so, was Gamma. You know, yeah, we know that's in there. Yeah, it came I out green, in, so it's like a gamma feature later thing. Later on, I think later on in the Namor fight, we see him using his Unabeam there too, but it's not powered up by gamma. It's just being used. 
Oh, yeah. Well, then, uh, you also see what his alt is, which I think it pulls everybody in and then explodes. Yeah, yeah. I forget where he does that... like a. It's called Maximum Pulse, and it's like a high DPS oh, there it was. AOE attack. I found it for a second. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, I really wish there was. There probably is. I just don't feel like messing with it. I did that again. I clicked on the wrong screen. It's a boom. Well, I don't know. I don't know if it pulled everybody in, but it did. It is making a big old hit. Yeah, I don't think it pulls everybody in. He's just able to hurt in that. It's an area effect, and it does a lot of damage it's in a, that area. It's a big old boom. But if you if you couple he and Groot, where Groot pulls everybody in, and Iron Man does that, that that's pretty. I'm going to bet Groot has. I'm going to bet he has a couple of different things. I bet he's got something that pulls people in, and I bet he also has something that will shove somebody away. I would imagine so. Or he's got like and a slap. The, like a slap with thing. With the like, insane pow. amount of health that he has, like, we didn't we didn't get to know for certain, but... Just looking at all that. a lot of tick marks. Yeah. All right, so next... All righty, so we can uh, roll on from... Spooder Man. The one character that they have, you know, did the origin story 14 different times in movies. Mm -hmm. ah, here we are. He's a DPS. Melee, obviously. 300 health, so it's kind of like Black Panther. He's got 50 more than, than normal. Um, his traversal is like a web sling thing. Like, you can see it in the same frame that you see... Um, Iron Man doing his glide. Yeah, uh, you you'll get to see. From what it looks like, it looks like you don't have a lot of charges of it, though. It's kind of like the glide yeah, thing. Probably only lasts for it, something, but it's real quick. It's a finite amount, yeah. But it's fast. Like it, You look like you're like moving through there. And then he does a web shot, which is like a fast projectile. Um, he also has an uppercut ability. And then his ultimate, it seems to... Stun and damage at the same time. Yeah, it looks like it webs them up and might do some damage. I don't know. I think I know what you're talking about. That one part. I'm thinking that there might have been yeah, two right, things. He jumps through the portal and then he goes to town. Well, I think there might have been two things happening. I think he came in and started webbing everybody, and then somebody else was also doing their alt. Uh, because if so, that is a tremendous amount of damage that somebody could do. Uh, oh, wait a minute. It's back here. Uh, I wish I had a better. I keep going. It, it's kind of yeah, about midway, I would guess. Uh, yes. No, it was like right at the start, actually. Was it? Yeah, like, because I remember this happening. And yeah, there, there it was. was. Yeah, it was like really close. It's about mid. It's mid start. So look, okay, so. Penny. Penny and Peter jumping through the hallway. Yeah. yeah, and then she looks like she's about to do something. She shot something out through there. You can see that green thing in front of him. Right. And then, oh, the Dr. Frank came out. I don't know. I mean... Yeah, but see, if you look on the right there of the screen, it says double... Three, like, he got three kills with that, so it has to do some damage. It just says double shot. It says... Double shot, right? And then it's immediately after says threefer. Yeah, but look at all the people that's actually down right there. I see Magic, Loki, Groot, and possibly Rocket. Well, they all can't be dead if he's getting three. That's what I'm saying. I think there was something else going on that we're not seeing. They're being really sly with this because when we get to Hawk, I'm going to show something on that one. So you can go ahead and go yeah. talk. And, uh, if you're done with him, we can go back and go, yeah. go we on. Can move or, on. Okay. All righty, so let's see what we got going on here. Namor, he's a turret. He likes to put down his little octopuses that are turrets. I have seen this, and I think he'll be a lot of fun. On the internet. I'm sorry? You can't say that on the internet. Oh, my bad. Sorry, internet. I wonder if the internet will yell at me. Probably. They, that's something they're good at. Namor, class DPS. Yeah. Uh, ammo. That's not like he's... He's interesting. So uh, he's got a health of 250. 
And his left click is like a slower firing sort of like peck projectile. Um, and we also, we see him use, a, he has an ability called bubble. And basically it just covers him all around him, like kind of like a, like an invulnerability, I guess, for a time. Uh, but he also has the octo turrets. And so the interesting part about these turrets is they each have their own specific timing. So like if you place one and then another second later you place another one, they're not going to be firing at the same time, you know, like in parallel. They're each going to have their own fire timing. Oh, you know? yeah, that makes sense. But uh, when Namor attacks a target, then they sync up and they all fire in time with each other against that t that target. I I him and Magic are probably going because I'm I'm gonna lie I'm gonna, I, he's a weird character and I always thought he I'm sorry let me get closer so it sounds like I'm talking. Him and Magic are probably going to be the two that I will probably play the most because they seem very very enjoyable. Uh, and yeah, kind of hard to figure out or hard to master, I guess you should say. He's like the Namor's character has always been pretty misunderstood because of Aquaman, you know? Well, yeah, nobody likes Aquaman. I mean, who likes Aquaman? Jason Momoa probably likes Aquaman. Well, and all the women now. And I mean, I do too. There's, there's, I'd say there's a lot of female Aquaman fans, yeah. I'm Aquaman. Moving on. No, you're not. I, I just want to do the turrets. Okay, I can... I understand why everybody compares this to Overwatch. Because I can easily... Because I played Overwatch 1 a lot. I can easily take each one of these characters and place them in one of those over there. This guy, his name... Uh, the almost identical character in Overwatch to take the place of these characters. Correct. Uh, what they do. Uh, or the the abilities that they do. And, and it's just funny just going through it. But I, I hate the people comparing it. This is the other one that I want to learn how to... That, that she'll be the one that I want to work on. I think she will be a blast. The magic is a DPS melee with 250 health. And she has a dash uppercut, which looks like it could stun, maybe possibly be like an interrupt. Um, she has a portal dash. And we, so, like, she's able to hop into a portal, and then it takes her a little ways away, and then she comes out, and it looks like she's invulnerable while she's in that. Because, you know, you can't hit her. She's in this portal thing. And then... She also uh, changes uh, when she uh, uses her ult. I don't, did you get to the ult? I, I, I haven't made it to the ult. Yeah, I was about to talk, to, talk about that now. I, like, jumped on uh, that one. <laughs> her ult is called Behold Attack. And it looks like uh, her attacks deal more damage in a wider area. She also kind of transforms a little bit, you know. Because canonically in the comics, like she's she's able to use like demonic powers or whatever it is. Okay, so sorry for sorry for the wait. Anyways, as I was trying so to say. I think she's going to be one of my want to enjoy playing. It looks like it's a lot of jumping around, a lot of moving. There's a lot of parts going on. If my eyes can handle it, I'm getting old. If my eyes can handle the whole uh, moving really quickly. It looks be... like she's going to be difficult to keep track of. Like oh, she's yeah. She's all over the place. Oh, yeah. She's going to look, she looks like she's going to be tough to be trying to, uh, 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 to master, but I think she'll be a lot of fun to do it. And there's your boy, Rocket. Rocket Man. Rocket Man. Rocket. Trying to find him. Cosmos. Back here telling me stuff again. Sorry. Here we are. Rocket. All right, so he's going to be a support character. And it looks like he has toggleable oh, <coughs> uh, weaponry. Word. So he's got 45 ammo in one and eight in another. So I would imagine like his... His minigun kind of thing is like the 45, and then his rockets, because why wouldn't Rocket have rockets? Is He only has like eight ammo for it. He has a health of 250. Um, his secondary attack, because obviously his, his primary attack is going to be his gun, right? His secondary attack looks like a heal. 
And um, let's see, his C ability looks like that's the ride. And I'm guessing, if I had to guess, I would say that's his team up with everybody. Just ride him. If he does or, yeah. Oh, we can also see him run up walls and he uses a jetpack. So, he uh, by has, the way, like, stuff. I think Black Panther does the same thing. I think Black Panther also runs up walls. He may. But, yes, we've seen him running up a wall away from Iron Man's, oh, crap, beam. Yeah. Like, oh, it's coming after me. Got to go. Yeah. Well, you saw Rocket running up the statue trying to get away from the uh, Unibeam attack. Yeah, the too. Gamma the gamma Beam. And you get to watch him, like, as he's, right before he activates his team up with Groot, he runs up that wall, and jumps, then... Activates his jackpack, jet pack, and then goes to Groot. Yeah, then jumps there into Groot. I, I'm so excited for this game. I just, I mean, no. I, 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 he's gonna be fun. I bet he has like no. I bet he's gonna be killed very easily. But he's gonna hit like a freaking tank. He'll be yeah, able he's to. He's gonna be killed easily, but he's so little you can't hit him. Yeah, that's that's the other part. He's gonna be like a little. I mean, he's he is the odd job for this game. We, I, I like I keep mentioning, I don't want to mention Overwatch, but right here, D.Va. I was thinking the same thing. I, it's, I, everybody was going to. I, it, it's, it's, that is D.Va right there. Yep. All right. Go ahead and g give me what you got about her. This is Luna, right? Uh, no, you, that, no. I said. already talked about Luna. No, this, this is, is Pina Parker. Luna Penny. is May. Right. This is Penny. Yeah, this is, this is Penny. Uh, we don't know a lot about Penny. Uh, we no. know she's a tank, or she's a melee, <clears throat> and her health is 950. Uh, she has a web dash traversal. I thought you traversal. said her hawk was 950. <laughs> Sorry. Her, her HP, her health. Oh, uh, she has a web dash traversal that we only see used horizontally. So, like, you know, she can just go forward. Um, her ultimate. It looks like it swaps stances and adds a knockback to her attacks and leaves drones as she goes. So, yeah, I think she also has a drone ability that she's that that you can just leave. And I think when she uses her alt, it just automatically just starts leaving them laying out everywhere. Yeah. Um. Yeah, she'd probably be one I'll play, but eh. Because I oh, imagine no, we'll she, she jumps out. Sorry, she, I imagine she jumps out of her. Um, she might come out of the machine. Yeah, out of her spider machine. Yeah, she's she's one that I'm kind of like, eh, and as she's doing her alt, you can see her running. I, I, that's why we don't want to take up more time. You're jumping over, and she's like smacking people going down that, just pow, 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 getting away, smacking them against the walls. Right. We'll jump back over here. Um, and on this roster, you see everybody. But we're going to talk about uh, the Hawk. And before you jump into everything, one okay. of the things I want to talk about, and we're going to jump over to this, and it's kind of, I don't know why uh, Netscape did this, but it's kind of misleading when you watch him jump here because he's got the leap. And it looks like when he's hitting Namor, it looks like he actually hits Namor and brings him down. That's not what's happening. He's actually no, just falling. That that ability that Namor had active is just finishing. Yeah. So, like, uh, you see him jump. Yeah, see, you see the pop. Namor had a bubble on him. And you've seen that bubble pop right before he got there. So now he's falling. But he does fall just as quick. I He does fall just as quick, but he doesn't do any damage to him. So he just starts beating the crap out of him. He just immediately left clicks as soon as he's ready to hit the ground there. Oh, yeah. And then and then he teams up or throws his gamma stuff at um, uh, your person you like that I'm, yeah. I mean, he's kind of the best. So, here we go. We've got um, Hulk is obviously a tank, uh, but he's his health is different and his ammo is different. So, we can see in the trailer that... Hulk and Bruce Banner are in this game as the same character. Same character. Um, so yeah. as Bruce Banner, 
you have 200 health and you have 20 melee, not 20 melee, 20 ammo. 20 melee. But when you swap over to the Hulk, I like the 20 then melee. your ammo is melee attacks only and you have 900 health. And it's speculated that um, maybe when Bruce takes so much damage, he automatically turns into the Hulk regardless of whether he wants to or not. He just becomes the Hulk. Yeah, I mean, that would kind of actually make sense because I was kind of wondering, are they going to do like the he's already mastered his Hulk ability? Or... I think he's got, that, he's got like a belt around his, his character. Oh, yeah, he does. And... Yeah, it kind of glows. So it's like the gamma feeling. So you, I think, I think that you can toggle whether you want to be Hulk or Banner. But there might be some uh, incentive to be Banner. Well, yeah, and you then probably, you probably do when some, you take so much damage, damage, you just become the Hulk, and there's no stopping it. Well, you have range whenever you're whenever you're a, a Banner. <laughs> Sorry, my mind went. As you're the Hulk, he has the uh, clap ability, which you saw in that clip that we just watched. And... He has the infuse ability, which would, we saw him use with Iron Man, that gives him the, the gamma unibeam. You have that right there. And he also later on in the video we see him, uh, you know, do the do the, the old uh, that the Avengers thing with they Loki. Keep, they use that in everything. Yeah, everything. I I I like they need to come up with something. Yeah, oh, it was funny the first fourteen times. Right here it is. The first 14 times we've seen it, it was... You know, I did that again. Like, oh, bam, bam. Yeah, I think there's another game. Um, Marvel, Marvel's Avengers. I think, I think you can actually see him stomp him here, too. Like he's Yeah, stomped. you get to see a foul right there. Yeah. Yeah, you can see that. Which is almost frame for frame what happened in the Avengers. Yeah, yeah. It, it's Well, and then they also do it in the Marvel... All right, so um, as we're saying, it, 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 they did this in the Marvel Avengers game too. They, they you grab a robot and you slam him back and forth. I just, I wish yeah. they'd give me like that game, like the the rights to it, and, and and let me run it, and I can I can make it better. Anyway, I, that just anytime you go to it was a sour taste in everybody's mouth to begin with because it had the microtransactions everywhere. Well, <laughs> they were trying to do every every. And it was just rinse and repeat gameplay. Like, it was the same missions over and over and over again. Well, speaking of that, let, let, now we're that to that kind of a topic real quick. The reason why, that's the reason why those games are hurting and, fa and failing a little bit. Everybody's like, oh, this game's going to fail within a month. Okay, the difference is there's always going to be something different for it because it's a PvP not all players play the same so it's going to be a different that's why Fortnite has lasted yeah. so long Overwatch you're not, you're not ever going to play the same game of Fortnite twice in a row no. right or, or in Overwatch you're not going to play the same play the same thing over and over it, it's just or any like, any kind of player versus player game like Call of Duty it doesn't matter just whatever pick a game it's and, never the same twice and, and as long as they stick with the style that they're doing and, and adding new characters and they can add just the plethora of characters. There's just so much to pick from. As long as they do it smart, they've got a great thing. Cause oh, they have a wealth of characters. Just as I mean, oh yeah, it's ridiculous how many characters Marvel has access to. Just in like you know, it's ridiculous. And then Marvel's owned by Disney. Disney has a bunch of characters too. True, but I, I I'm wondering what it took for them to get that. Cause I, so. I, I, I'm really excited for this game, and I signed up for the beta, or uh, for the think. alpha testing, right? Alpha close testing. So if you're watching this before the May thing, you definitely need to go do that. Um, I can, I'll throw a link down there in the bottom. I, it's going to be a, a really fun game. I, I'm super excited for this. It, right, oh, it's only on PC right now, and, I'll, and the reasoning, I think, for this. So, and, and I don't like this reasoning. But it kind of made sense. If. Okay. So if you just develop a game. 
and you're paying licensing to use these characters. You're using these Marvel characters. So right. you pay so much to use these, but you're only going to pay so much to use them on that platform, on, on, on the PC platform, because it's easier to program and easier to get licensed for that. Uh, yeah, and you don't have to fight with Sony for Spider-Man. Well, it's just not it's just not that. It's just the licensing for uh just just the one type of console. And then if that happens to fail, they're not out money for the consoles. But if it starts to blossom and come into this amazing thing that I hope that I think and I hope that it does. They're like, "Okay, let's push this out over here to consoles and we'll get more players, and then we'll get more I'm people going. Pretty sure it's going to mobile too. I hope not, but then we'll get like more right people out, going. Right out the gate. Um, uh, uh, PC and console players don't match or don't go together. I'm one of those people. That's me. I'm one of those people. I don't like when two. I know I don't like when console and PC go together. I but like, it gives you more I players. Like cro- I like cross-platform, but to a degree. Like I, I don't want. I want cross-platform between the consoles. And I, I would like the option if I wanted, like if I wanted to open myself up to PC, then that could be another option I could click. But I don't want it. I don't want to open by default. Correct. Yeah. I, I, and that's the way I feel. I, if, or if the PC players, well, they can, PC players so bad they get put in with console. That's fine. But also people will make themselves so bad that they're like, ooh, I get into a console game and I can just wreck people. Yep. So, Sandbag till you get there. Yep. So I mean, this is our take on on Marvel Rivals. Uh, right now, it's uh, supposed to release. I think sometime in 2025. Am I right? I'm not entirely certain. I hope it um, releases sooner than that. There's a lot of speculation about the release date. Yeah, but they I, haven't actually said. Uh, hopefully, they concrete. take this alpha testing and people give their true thoughts or actual concerns or what they believe is wrong with it. And they'll, and they actually take it back and work on it. That's where I hope it actually goes. So cool. I'm excited. Oh, I am too. I'm super excited. Alrighty. Um, so we'll, we'll, what we're going to do now, we're just going to end and we'll, we'll just end this one now for, I'm going to throw, I'll make some shorts and stuff to throw on TikTok. Uh, I hope everybody enjoys this. I, I, I'd like to keep us going if I know it's our first video is not gonna be a lot happening but if there's something y'all would like for us to talk about for a little bit I got another thing that we're gonna do um yeah do you guys have any kind of like suggestions for yeah. topics or whatever? just throw them in the comments we're gonna we will do one of these live I, I think maybe uh when we get used to this and we get a little bit more prepared on stuff it's been a crazy couple of weeks we'll we'll do more live so what I'm going to do is I, I thanks for everybody for watching. If you watched this long, appreciate it. Um, I'm Fridge, and that's Blue. I think I'm looking at him. And this is Shenerdigans. Hope to see you next time. Ah.